when, uh, when somebody turns to Allah, when somebody turns to Allah, don't worry about the means. Guidance will come. Balance will come. I want to tell you some more about Robert because young guys are here. Young guys that play basketball. Young guys that are healthy. Young guys that have ambition. I told you, what's his paralysis from where to where? Neck down. He has a special wheelchair that has to hold pretty much every part of his body in place. He can't just sit in a wheelchair. It holds his neck and it holds every other part of his body in place because he has no control over his limbs. And he has to have a special van where the wheelchair locks in so that if it goes through a bump or whatever, he doesn't you know, receive the shock. So he made a request. He wants to go to the Friday prayer. They didn't have the special van. So they put him in a regular van. And so he went to the regular van and a few bumps and his spine got even more hurt. He went to Jumu'ah. He came back in excruciating pain. And they said, I'm sorry, Robert, you're no longer able to sit in your wheelchair. You're going to have to stay in your bed for the next six months at least. If you see recovery, then you can get back up again. I met him in, those, in that span. He had already been in that bed for, for three months already. And the reason he was in that bed is he went to the Jumu'ah prayer. And he told me about the Jumu'ah prayer. He said, I've never felt more peace in my life than I was in that masjid. And you know what I'm going to do, Brother Norman? When I, can, when I can sit in my chair again, I'm going to go to Jumu'ah. I'm going to go to the masjid because I've never felt like that before. There's someone who has nothing but control over his, his mouth and his eyes. And he says, I only find peace in the masjid. And here we are. These masajid, I don't care what ideology, what school of thought, what they're talking about in the masjid, what fitna is there. I don't care. It's still Allah's house. Just go to pray. Don't go there to talk to people. Go there to talk to Allah. Just go to talk to Allah. You're, not, you're just going for you and Allah. That's it. That's it. Other things will come, but you're not going for them. You're just going there to find peace. You'll become different people. If Allah can guide Robert Davila, Allah can guide everybody. And then he said, you know, sometimes I wonder why Allah put me in this position. And then I say to myself, what am I kidding? Allah has given me so much. I am so grateful for what He gave me. And if this is the way He was going to bring me to Islam, it's all worth it. So worth it. You have Muslims that lose a little bit of health and they say, why is Allah doing this to me? And this man, I mean, if you would think, nowadays atheists argue because of suffering, there's no God. If one man has a position in a position to say, I, I don't believe in God. If there was a guy, why would I be in this position? It would be Robert de Villa. That guy would say, I don't believe in God. If there was one, why would I be in this mess? And yet he's in this position and I've never seen a face with more nur. Never. I've never seen a face that has more contentment on it. He's so satisfied with life. He's so happy. He's just happy. The last seven or eight khutbas I've given are actually based on one sentence per, each on one sentence that he said in his conversation. <laughs> Is that profound? He's, been, he's a teacher to me. I consider him a teacher. He's my sheikh. Somebody says, who's your sheikh? I say, Robert Davila. <laughs> really? Is that, a, is that a pizza place? Or <laughs> No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know. People, the guidance is all around us. You don't have to get worried about what's not there. There's plenty there. You know what Allah did for the people of the cave? You know He even guided them in where to sleep? You know He even guided them on where to turn? As the sun was coming, they turn away from it. As the sun came from the other side, they turn the other way. <laughs> Allah will guide you in your sleep when you make dua to Him. He'll even guide you in your sleep. Every toss and turn will be guided by Allah. Can you imagine? Who's, we shouldn't be skeptical in Allah's guidance. We shouldn't worry about how am I going to find balance. No, that's Allah's job to guide you. Your job is to talk to Him. Your job is to get sincere. That is the message I have for you. That is how we're going to find balance. Honestly. It's, you know, and if once you do that, once you become sincere to Allah, Allah will open doors. Allah will give you friends. Allah will give you teachers. Allah will give you access to resources. All of which are going to bring you closer and closer and closer to Him and to the truth and make life better for the people around you. This is really the gist of what I wanted to share with you. I don't want to speak longer. I've spoken too long already. I love coming back to you.